What's up guys, Mr. Audio here and welcome back to another video. If you haven't already, please make sure you're subscribed and while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button and smash the notification bell so you never miss another video. All right, before we get into this video, I do want to mention that we've recently put together a Discord where you can ask all your music production related questions, get private feedback on your mixes from me, and also suggest content that I might cover here on YouTube. That being said, let's get into this video here. All right, so I wasn't aware that so many people were going to actually download the Ableton Master Rack, the first version I made. So I decided that I needed to make it more user friendly and kind of beginner proof, if you will. I wanted to try to make it so that you couldn't really break it. But I also did make it so that if you went too far, you could just double click the knobs and they would go back to their default setting. So that is one cool thing about it. There's one thing that I would change about it. It would be that there would be a true peak limiter that Ableton has that I could add into this as a stock plugin, but they don't. So I try to match a bunch of tracks that I mastered with this to my old masters just to see for fun how close in harmonic content I could get. And I was very surprised at the results. You're going to listen here and I'm going to show you how you can basically do the same thing with Ableton Master Rack as you can with, you know, Ozone, some Plugin Alliance plugins, and even some free Analog Obsession plugins I like to use on mine as well. To be honest with you, you almost can't tell the difference. There's a little bit of more warmth in the old masters, the ones that weren't mastered with the Ableton Master Rack, but to be honest, it's so close, the difference is minuscule, it might not even translate on all systems. That being said, we're gonna listen to this, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how you can master a song in under three minutes. All right, let's get into this, and I'm gonna show a couple examples, and then we're gonna go ahead and master a song, all right? I picked three different tracks, they're pretty different from each other, and I wanted to see how I could master them with the Ableton Master Rack, and how they would stand up to my old masters. So let's listen to them in comparison. So this first one here is the one I actually had the most trouble with matching, and I think I did a pretty good job. Here, give it a listen. Work of art. I think I'm going nowhere. I bet I'll get there fast. They say that all good things, they never ever last. All right, now let's listen to the old master, and then we'll compare the old and new. I'll put cues on the screen, which one is which. To work of art. I think I'm going nowhere. I bet I'll get there fast. They say that all good things, they never ever last. They say it's cold outside at night. Was bold and, you were bright. and see how there's just a little bit more warmth to the older masters. That hardware emulation is hard to replicate with Ableton stock plugins. I am going to, however, mess around with some things, probably a glue compressor and the dynamic tube, and there will be a version three of this as well. So stay tuned for that. So we're going to move along to another song, and that'll be Sticks and Stones. Let's start off here. Like I said, matching harmonic content is very hard when you don't have the identical algorithms with the saturators here. So you can mess around, open it up and mess around with saturator settings and see what you can get to match your harmonic content. But to be honest, this is a great mastering tool in itself without trying to match any harmonic content. And now we're gonna try one more song and then we're gonna try to master sticks and stones and try to get a very similar result by just critical listening. So here's the song Signs, and this is the version one that I mastered with Ableton Master Rack 2.0. I 
as you can see, the harmonic content is very, very similar there. Now let's try to master track in under three minutes. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is I've made a new track. I'm just going to drag this down, and we're just going to reset this back to zero. And I'm going to drag the Ableton master rack on it. And we're going to go in here, and I'm going to open up the glue setting. And this is the only one we're really going to look at. We're basically just going to do the rest by ear. So once I get the compression and I have the limiter up here, I'm just going to be moving knobs around and listening so you can see how easy it is just to master. And you'll see how the song transforms from, you know, what it was into what it is now. And I'll show it before and after, after the fact. And then for fun, we're going to try to see how close we can get to my original master with Ozone and other plugin alliance and other various plugins. All right. So first of all, I'm going to engage the clipper. We're going to turn this up, drive the clip gain to where it's reaching above zero and the clipper will do its job and clip off those peaks. So once you've done that, go back to this view, click on the densest part of your waveform. That'll be the thickest. Mine just so happens to be in the pre-chorus of this song. And that's right here. We're going to lower the threshold of the compressor that I call glue. And as you can see, it's very heavily distorted right now because I'm pushing the audio too hard into the limiter. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that down a bit. And I can always turn this back up at the end of this. I'm just giving myself enough room to do the work that I need to do. So. All right, now we've got our master here. Let's see if we can match the harmonic content of the old master where I mastered with Ozone and some other various plugins. There you have it. Now let's do a before and after the Ableton Master effect rack, all right? So this is before. That's all for this video, guys. If you stuck around at the end, thanks for watching. Go download the Ableton Master Rack 2.0 while it's free. There will be a 3.0 coming out, so you might want to subscribe and stay tuned so you get all the details on that. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Mr. Audio, out.